Okay, so uh, since we're at the beginning of the advent of code, um, things are still pretty easy. I'm doing my advent code in JQ, but I thought it'd be fun to do it in JavaScript as well. So um, this is how I would solve it. I start off with a sample input anyway, um, and I'm going to uh, break this up, split it into new lines, and then um, map it into an int, um, so I can actually compare cleanly. Um, the underscore just represents kind of a, a dummy variable. Um, I'm also going to use Quokka because it's useful to kind of dig into what um, what values I have here. So the aim of um, part A is to find all the values that are larger than the previous value. Um, so what we're going to do here is filter uh, every one of these values. So we've got a uh, value index array um, and I'm going to return where the value is greater than the array i minus one, and we should be able to get the length. And that's correct, that's correct for the sample. So um, that is the uh, code. I'm gonna run it against the real code, which I've got saved as one.input. And that's the correct answer for my particular input. Um, so I'm gonna grab this and use it for part B, because I know I need to kind of do something similar. Um, start Quokka up. Uh, but the difference here now is that I need to kind of I need to sum a window of three values uh, like a rolling window. So I need to use the values uh, I don't know, 199 plus 200 plus uh, 208. <clears throat> and then the next value will be um, plus 210. Uh, so we're looking for that. Um, and then I need to look at where the, the values increase and the, the value, the length should be um, five if this is correct. Uh, so I'm going to do a uh, map, I'm going to remap the values here. So uh, value uh, index array and I'm going to return um, value plus array i plus one plus array i plus two um, which is is fine for the moment. It's given me five, but there is actually a bug here. Um, if I look at the values in here, I've got not a number here. I might not want to have those uh, not numbers, so I can just kind of filter those out using uh, filter.boolean. Okay, so those are gone. Um, and now, I mean, the, the result is the same. Doesn't, not particularly necessary, but uh, I don't know, it feels safer. And then if I run this with code, I should get something like 13, six something. There you go, 13, four, six. So that is how I would do it in JavaScript. Thanks for watching.